Welcome back to the channel. We're here for another unboxing. And it says the land of many Harry's. <laughs> Harry Potter. Yeah, well, it's got Harry, Harry, and Harry. I don't know the other Harry. I only know two of them. Okay. One of them's the prince. Well, I don't think he's considered a prince anymore. I'm not exactly know. sure. And then Prince Harry. You should probably show him since you're talking about it. All right. Land of many Harrys. It's those Harrys there. If you know who they are, you can comment. Let us know. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Here. The UK. Ooh, the Kingdom. All right, and of course it's got the back where you're supposed to rate all of the items and it's got the three items that didn't make it into the box. Oh, you would have liked that one. It's a licorice. Oh yeah, black currant licorice. I like that. And then it says to vote the next, for some next coming ones. They got Netherlands, Italy, Italy, and Germany. Cool. All right. Well, let's get her started. Holy moly, you think yeah, it's packed. Yeah, it is. This is what it looks like. Can't really see anything besides these two items. <laughs> now that you read it, you seem to read them a little better than I do. I stumble on that word. So do I. <laughs> All right, you want to go first? Yeah, let's just go try for these. Go for it. Potato hoops. Potato hoops. Let me find it. Oh, geez, I'm not looking, to that, looking forward to that one, that's for sure. Pickled onion rings. Really? Oh, yeah, they're right there. Uh, let's see. It's going to take me a second. Potato hoops. These are just regular potato hoops. Oh, you're right. Okay, let's try again. I know they gotta be in here somewhere. They gotta be. Oh, never mind. It's way up to the tiny in the corner, chili and lemon flavor. Oh, okay, right. so that was right. Yeah. And it didn't look like the... No, it don't. Oh, it says right here, your bag may look different than the one pictured, but it's the same product. Okay. Oh, but it's so small. How are we supposed to find that? Right. It says chili and lemon potato hoops. Chili and lemon potato crisp. Because that's what they call them over there. Yeah. At first, the combo is a fruity lemon and a spicy chili, but may not sound very English, but it is. It dates back to the British Empire, which ruled India between 1858 and 1947. During that time, many customs were to ex were exchanged. British gave Indians cricket, which remains India's most favorite, was not favorite, popular, sorry, <laughs> sport. Oh yeah, and I'm not gonna read it all, so. Okay. Uh, this way or this way? Yeah, across the top. They smell like potato crisps. When well, they look funky, they just look like a, like almost a diamond ring thing, like you could wear them. In a minute. It's got a tiny, tiny little picture. Remember, he likes spice. I do not. For me, I think it's more than just a tiny kick. I think it's like a, a medium kick. <laughs> These are actually really good. They're not bad. I enjoyed the unique flavor. The, it, the potato, like the, it's kind of spongy. I don't know if spongy is the right word though. It's not like a normal potato chips where it's nice no. and crunchy and it's a little more spongy. Yeah, I don't really know what to compare it to. Yeah, I don't either. Um, maybe like those patina, uh, peanut orange things, like a little chewy. Oh, but cir not circus peanuts? Yeah, but they're not the flavor, but the texture. A little bit. Kind of, yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, if they were made out of potatoes, yeah, it definitely would be. Yeah, yeah that's what I mean. The texture, not that's the... That's the best comparison you can make right there. Mm -hmm. so, All right, what's next? I gotta have one of those a long time. It's your turn. I'm scared for that one. <laughs> Let's just do the next big one. Let me see if I can find it. Ooh, these are... Right here. Where's the thing? Right, right here. There. Mackey's Honey and Mustard Potato Crisps. Honey Mustard Potato Chips. <laughs> so the world changing innovation has come from the UK. Harry Potter. Hey Jude. Newton's Laws of Gravity. But to us, one novel revelation tops them all. Crisps. Alright. I'm not going to read it off. I don't know, my mouth is still a little. Look at all the different chips I know we in there. Like chips in there. Crisps. <laughs> a lot of them say crisps too. Oh, these look like Pringles. And they're honey and mustard. They don't, they don't smell, smell like, like it though. They don't look like Pringles. Which one is a whole one? You can. I'll put that. Really taste the mustard. Mm. <laughs> you okay there? Oh. No? Oh. Don't like them, huh? I shouldn't have ate a huge one. It was too much tang. You can really taste the mustard. I love mustard though, but it just. Yeah, it even has that mustard kick. Like if you were to eat mustard by itself, how it's got that. I don't mind that though, I can do that. Yeah. Not that I right, go in there and down a bottle of mustard. Yeah, go for it. Let's get these out of the way. Oh man. I don't know where it went. There it is. Johnny's pickled onion rings. Pickled onion rings. So you're sitting in the bar enjoying your Buck's Fizz and the bartender sits down a snack. What do you think it is? Peanuts? Nope. Fries? Nah. Onion rings? Close, but no. It's a jar of pickled onions. Pickled onions, huh? <laughs> yep. That's all I'm reading of that one. <laughs> Look, it's only 25p. Yeah, that's what they call it over there. Because I watch a lot cheap. of... I watch a lot of uh, YouTubers from over there. Uh, I, I know it's not pounds. I don't know what it is. Oh wow, those are tiny. I think it's pence. You can smell that. I'm scared. No. It Ooh. has a strong pickle smell. And they're like perfectly formed little rings. They're like perfect onions. <laughs> Pickles do. They're not like funnies, they're more like those um cheese poofs. Cheese puffs? No, poofs. They're called poofs. Okay. Cheese poofs. Oh, I'm gonna have to get more water. <laughs> oh. That has a strong um pickle vinegar flavor. Yeah. I, I love vinegar. Mm. He's got a lot of potato chips to eat now. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to have any of these, are you? <laughs> so far, they're all yours. Hmm. Let's just do this. Let's get it out of the way. I will warn you, so you don't have to try if you don't want to. That is shrimp. I know. I'm reading it. Okay. Thank you, though. Yeah. Prawn cocktail twists. Prawn and cocktail sauce potato crisps. Oh. Ever wonder why French words like casserole and... What is it? Rotisserie? Yep. Pop up in English language? Geography. Geography. <laughs> That's it. I'm done reading. Right there. Yeah, there you go. You don't smell like anything. Go ahead. Flavor. 
suitable for vegetarians. Like when we used to get those um, Japan crates when they would have fish flavored stuff, it would taste like seafood. But that doesn't. That's like a subtle hint of whatever it is they got in there. Not bad. Mm, I'm not going to eat them though. I didn't finish the one I ate though. Your turn. My turn? Yeah. Something different. Toffee flat cake, flat jack. <laughs> find it. There it is. Grandma's wild toffee flapjacks. Oat bar with toffee. One thing people in the U.S. and U.K. have in common, their love of flapjacks. Well, sort of. You probably think of flatbacks in another words, another word for pancakes. But in the UK, there's something completely different. Their flatjacks are made of oats, butter, brown sugar, and syrup, spread in into a tray, baked into bars, and sometimes, if you're lucky, slathered in soft toffee. Sounds like we all have a new kind of flat fat jack to start oh, loving. That smells so good. So they're kind of like oat bars, like granola bars almost. That's what their flat jacks are. You want scissors, sweetie? No, I have to work on these I never heard of that flavor before. <laughs> Ready? No, that's not the right one. Hold on. <laughs> it looked like it almost. There it is. Kent crisps, oyster, and vinegar. Every July, the residents of Seaside Whist Whistable? Yeah, Whistable. In Kent, England, flock to the beach in anticipation of the event of the year, Oyster Fest. Oyster Fest. All right, let's get this over. I don't know how I'm gonna like this. Yeah. <laughs> smell like chips. Yeah. They don't smell weird. That's, that's a pretty smaller one. Ready? Yep. Okay. Is the other one got the tang in there, though. It's a very strange flavor. Yeah, I'd eat the bag, but I would never eat them again. <laughs> I don't want to waste them. It tastes so weird. They have like, um, I don't know, like a paper tasting. Hmm, your turn. My turn. Yep, try this. All right, what is it? Odie? Yep, Odie. Oh, right there. Oat cookies. The England has no shortage of tea times. Tea time. There's 11 Z's, a light snack, and a cup of tea at 11. 
an afternoon tea, which is 3 p.m. tea time, dates to 1830, when the Royal Duchess got a peckish before dinner. To be fair, it was served at 7.30 p.m. <laughs> and of course, high tea, a meal, cinnamon, what is that, cinnamonous? So, so now I'm gonna start so, synonymous. Synonymous. So, yeah. With dinner, whose names come from the table, tall tables it was served on. Hmm. Okay. I'm not gonna read the rest. No. So it's an oat cookie. Did you hold it up? Yes. Mm, There's two of them in there so we can divide them. Okay. But I'll probably want the other for later. Hmm, probably. Ooh, that looks, looks cool. very grainy. You can see through yeah. it. Yeah. I feel like you're gonna get this all over the place. Feel like it's gonna be crummy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here, you can have the bigger one. Yay. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of crummy right now. Yeah, ready? Mm hmm. Not bad. Mm -hmm. Got some cinnamon or sugar and stuff. It's almost like those uh, thin, crispy nature granola bars. Remember that one time we took a trip and we bought a bunch of snacks and we bought some uh, thin, uh, mm -hmm. crispy granola. That's what it reminds me of. Except though the kind we bought, I think, were apple. Mm -hmm. But that's the texture it reminds me of. Just not as you know crispy, not as hard. Yeah, my turn. Yeah. are as fancy are as fancied as the fool but don't go thinking Brits run around licking clowns or anything like that in Britain <laughs> fool re re refers to an extremely popular parfait like dessert made of al altering layers of custard and boiled fruit okay. or most popularly that's a word. Boiled rhubarb. Unique vegetable with tang. Berry like flavor. These are good until October of next year. Oh, really? well, not now. because of the sweet custard and the uh, rhubarb. Well, it says the rhubarb is like a sweet, tangy berry. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to keep going or do you want to? Let me keep going. Okay. It's up to you. That's fine. Let's go. Your turn. That one? Of course, yeah. Of course what? Ready? <clears throat> yeah. Hold on. Well, Welsh potato crisp 
lamb and mint. Yeah. Looking for lamb? You couldn't go wrong in Wales. The 11 million sheep outnumber humans three to one. Account for 80% of Welsh uh, al al agriculture. Yes, agriculture. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I'm like, I'm done. <laughs> Some words just do not want to come out. Tastes funky? I don't know. I, I taste like it. it's funny how they put like the little thingies because yeah. in the United States you have to have the nutritional box. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, they're strong, aren't they? I just want to smell So I don't want to have to go spread it out again. Ready? Cool. Very minty. Yeah. Like I'm mint sorry, leaves. but mint should not be on chips. Like mint leaves. Oh. So different. <laughs> sherbet is but especially colorful fruity ice like dessert but in this section teases there's a different meaning in the UK their sherbet is the name of a fizzy powder found inside many can tangy candies oh. but these are as these zingy lemons ready Are you busy? Do you like it? Mm hmm, yeah. Okay. It tastes a lot like lemonades. Mm, I mm -hmm. like lemonades. So we'll put these back. Back where? In the bag. Oh. Unless you want to try one. No, I'll try one after because, like, I thought you we were going to bite it in half. I, like, I'll bite the rest of them in half for okay. you if you want them. Okay, the next one's gonna do the orange one because it's right here. Mm -hmm. Yep. They're all, it's fizzy chews. Bucks fizzy chews. Fizzy orange and champagne chews. It's nothing better than Grandma Drake in London. Why? Well, it's home to 1,327 bars in most of any city in the world. It's not a bar. Yeah, it is. Oh, you already did it? Open it. Oh. I didn't like it. We wanted yogurt. I didn't yell at you. Yeah. That's good. Mm -hmm. That does have a like a weird feeling on your tongue a little bit. I don't know. I must have chewed it too fast. <laughs> It's not fizzy, it's almost like they're trying to simulate fizzy. Oh. 
Do you want to do the this one first? Yep. So it'll be chewy. This one probably gonna be hard. All right, ready? Yeah. Hold it up. Oh. What is that word? Triacle. Triacle. Soft triacle toffees. Trick or triacle? Come on, no candy is more coveted in the UK than toffee made with black triacle, which is molasses. Oh. And not just for Halloween. It's just a brown piece of candy. Looks like. Uh, I'm sorry, but it looks like poop. Looks like. No. Uh huh. Looks like uh, caramel or something. Else. Wow, that is molasses-y. It's got that little twang of toffee. These remind me of coffee dips. Mm. I love coffee dips. You know, I had them so long. <laughs> mm. All right. So good. Chocolate limes, hard or lime hard candies with chocolate filling. A quick description? I guess it's all you really need, huh? I was trying to read it. Oh. I'll bite this one in half. This is an unusual sweet, but it's hard lime filled shell and smooth chocolate center. Has been a UK candy shop staple since it debuted in 1980. Okay. So it's not that old. You go ahead, you, you bite it, I'll probably destroy it if I try it. I'll accidentally eat the whole thing. You okay? Well. Really hard? Well. Mmm, that is good line. And the chocolate has a nice little thin to it. Just trying to get through the line. sticky. It's like when you take um, one of the little tiny Tootsie Rolls and you take one of the little flavored Tootsie Rolls and you eat them together. That's what oh. it tastes like. That's really good. <laughs> a regular uh, a regular Tootsie Roll with like a cherry or, or a lime. That's what it tastes like. It tastes like you take the lime one and the cherry or the chocolate one and put them together and eat them. That's what it tastes like. It wasn't bad. Oh, it was the lime was a little strong. That's why I was like sweating a little bit. Mm. I liked it though. Your turn. I picked up the yum bag. Well, let's finish off the chips. Okay. Cheese and onion. Open this package and take a whiff. The bold cheese aroma you're smelling. Question. It's like a. It's like a question. The bold cheese aroma you're smelling. With the defying scent of UK Chris. Introduced in 1962, cheese and onion has consistently beat out other top contenders, including salt and vinegar and paprika. Paprika. For the top spot of UK's favorite crisp flavor. These are actually crisp, too. Smell like chips. I can smell the cheese. Yeah. Because their cheese is unique. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I can smell that. Mmm, that's good. Oh, yeah. I really didn't know what to expect from that. I'm running out of room over here. I'm going move the box over. Mmm. Greece 
which now lend their tart, zingy flavor to countless scones, cakes, pastries, and cookies. So you want them broken to pieces? Okay. You want to grab a piece? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good lemon. Subtle, it's kind of strong. I like that. Yeah. Here, Jim. Want to try these now or later? It's your turn, you pick. Alright, let's try these. <laughs> More chewy behind. Strawberry milkshake. Strawberry milkshake chews. Sure, a strawberry milkshake might. Be a familiar treat for you, but in the UK the flavor is an extra special Wilmington treat. I said that wrong. Wilmington? Yeah, I can never say it. Up until the 30 years ago, British strawberry season was just six weeks long. Collins. Collins. Coinciding with Wil Wil Wilmington. Alright, I'm done. It's oh. tennis. It smells good. Holy moly. You it's got not, one? Yeah, it's not like strawberry ice cream. Oh, that was really chewy. Ah. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Kind of tangy a little bit. A little bit. Need to get caramel. These are good. They taste like something we got, but I can't put my finger on it. Oh, top strip. Strangely enough, these taste like the soft red down layers. Oh. They're still better though. I don't like red ones, so. Um, it's like toffee, toffee, toffee. <laughs> and a cookie. <laughs> Can I get these over with? Yeah. I just feel like they're gonna be a mess. Mighty crumbly shortbread browns. Shortbread cookies. This young story takes us to rural Huntley, Scotland which begins as the Scottish tales begin, with bagpipes. All right. Well, I almost cut it some cookie. Oh, jeez. A, a babe. Oh, it fell apart already. I it know. Didn't feel you shouldn't have done that. So I'll, I'll eat it real quick. <laughs> That's good shirt bread. Brian, the other one was my crab. Nothing special. It's just regular shortbread. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Maybe I don't know what I want to do. I could buy a pack of those and eat those over there. My turn? Mm -hmm. Let's try these. Coffee. coffee with Brazil nuts. In England, coffee is just an iconic as, dare we say it, Shakespeare. But how did this iconic candy come about? From England's Caribbean colonies produced extra sugar. So they combined it with butter. Creating slap the part of chewy toffee. And then I read the whole thing. Best before end. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Best before end. I'm like, all right. Oh, it's in a low. It's actually in a wrapper thing. Oh, they wanted you to speak to me. Oh, yeah. 
Then they're good. No, because it, it says whack, and then in Japan, well, no, I'm supposed to get out of there. It says whack? Can I see right there, whack? Then I'm right. You didn't whack it. That's your problem. Just joking, yeah. I really don't know. Oh, no, I was going to say take the scissors, but you don't want to cut the piece of scissors, cut the piece Take off a piece off the bag. Yeah. Are you getting it? You getting one of the squares out? I don't know. So you buy. Oh, sure are. Okay. You want this? Yeah. That's gonna be fun to eat. <laughs> <laughs> I like the coffee, I just don't like the nuts. It's good, but wow, why the wrapper like that? Hmm. <laughs> Here you go. Mm -hmm. Want more of it? Yes, please. Thank you. Mm hmm. You want more? Uh huh. Watch your hand go. Oh, yeah, that would hurt. I'm about to break my hand in your eye. You got hit in the head with candy? Uh-huh. There's something you can talk about. Mmm. That is so good. This is why they said to whack it. <laughs> that. It's like a ever oh so fancy banana lappy tappy. Uh -huh. So good. This 
still go good with coffee. <laughs> I was supposed to pick. <laughs> pick. Let's see. Okay, I'll do this one. <laughs> Clotted cream fudge. To taste the UK's famous clotted cream, we're heading to Devon. Gasp. The controversy. You see, two. England countries, Devon and Cornwall, both say they invented clotted cream, a rich spread made when cream is hot and then slowly cooled, creating clots of cream. It looks like a regular caramel. I'll let okay. you do the honors. Ooh, that is like thick plastic. Yeah, I know I could, yeah. Oh. Oh, it fell right apart. I thought it's it was going to be too Yeah. Oh, that's good. I think this thing was my favorite, though. That's very good. Yeah, you like that? That was really good. The toffee flapjack was excellent. I'll have to agree with that. That's um, my favorite. Yeah. I, I like those too. That was really good. Yeah, that was good. There's nothing chocolatey except for the lime thing. Yep. But it was still really good. Let us know down below what was something that you would really like to try. Or if you do get the box, let us know what your favorite was. We'll yeah. see you in the next video. Bye.